I don't have any plans. Wish that I could stay forever this young. Not afraid to close my eyes. Life's a game made for everyone. And love is a prize. So wake me up.
So we're going to be here a while. Let's all take out our phones and do a quick text check. All right. Hello, graduating class of 2021. To begin with, I'd like to ask everyone a simple question. What is a freak to you? Yes, you heard me. An F-R-E-A-K, freak. Well, I could certainly say I've never thought of myself as a freak until I heard from my friends about my unusual habits. One of those including my psychopathic tendencies towards mathematics, never once did I notice how freakish of me it was to religiously plot calculus equations on a seven by 12 inch piece of cardstock using, mind you, the quite specific and prestigious friction ballpoint erasable pen. Sound familiar? Look here at this homework. It's a normal thing, right? Sure, this might not be too freaky to some of you guys, but when considering how many mistakes take place in Miss Littlefield's second period math class, you might start to understand why I'm, do, I'm crazy for using pen of all things. But hey, that's just the way I roll. Roll my eyes out a differential equation, that is. Although I admit I do have odd habits in math, I wasn't entirely convinced I was a freak until someone mentioned, I am the one who refuses to eat school lunch. In fact, my chocolate rice cakes with a cookie butter spread was the most delicious thing I ever discovered, which I thought everyone enjoyed, right? So maybe, maybe I am a freak, I admit it. But there is another type of freak in this world that I have yet to touch upon. And perhaps this type will be a bit harder to explain because it comes from a passion of mine that hits very close to home. At the young age of four, I quickly turned into a dancing freak. If you know it, if you know me at all, you would know that I love dancing. There is something about having complete control over your body, a discipline with every nerve, muscle, and limb, which makes me anxious with excitement. Yet this is the freaky part of it, dance. It seems so peculiar that one should coordinate special movements of a body to the rhythms of a song. It does seem a bit silly on the surface to insanely thrash about on the ground to a bunch of musical notes. Moreover, the world treats us as impractical. Dance has its importance only until we need to start growing up and get a real job. In this way, you are a freak to dance. But if this is the truth, then I will gladly accept the title of a dancing freak. Because we shouldn't think of the world in black and white, a world where it's unacceptable to laugh at the wrong times, 
a world where we should work nine to five, a world where we need to wear suits and ties, a world where I can't hoard all the cardstock from Target's crafting section. The world isn't simple. It's full of fun times, the occasional regret or two, enthusiastic friendships, unbridled affections from loved ones, and kindness too. As Ms. Kirkbride could probably agree with me, life is a composition and we are its composers. We compose relationships through our dances with the ones around us. I can, re I can remember fighting with Elise Miller on the monkey bars in kindergarten, two-stepping with my father, Mr. Diaz, around math equations in elementary school, spending endless hours in the main library with my mom, Dr. Patty Diaz, who now prepares me for the next journey, and stepping on the toes of my sister as we cha cha slide into sisterly arguments. Furthermore, I think dance transcends even our relationships with others. Looking towards one aspect of dancing, it has the ability to interpret things however we like. Sure, it is true that the song's lyric and message may never change. I had to learn this the hard way through my many years of playing in the band. Ironically, the sheet music was oftentimes the only one standing between me and the creation of art. But just like the sheet of music and band, life will throw us triplet after triplet and there's nothing we will be able to change about it. The notes are permanent. That said, if life is a song, we still get to, to decide how we dance to it. There are barriers set in place between music, dancers, and you, the audience. A dancer has the natural ability to transform a beat or a sharp lyric into a graceful and flowing movement. We, as the interpretive dancers, can take all of life's hardships and decide whether or not we want to turn it into a good, transformative experience or fold under the lights of the stage. Here, let me show you what I mean.
All right. <laughs> it is here where I extend this analogy into the lives of everyone in the audience, dancer or not. I urge all of us to stop and listen to the music around us. No, seriously, take a moment to stop and listen. And sometimes, look and watch. Did you hear it? Did you see it? Perhaps a light scraping of leaves being, grown, bling, blo being blown across a sidewalk. Distant honking of afternoon traffic. Crickets chirping in the nighttime. The seemingly countless chats you've had with your peers that surround you tonight. All around you lay, lay meaningful little nuggets of life. You just have to stop and listen. And so I suppose I have a question for those who just heard the music a moment ago. Why the heck aren't you dancing? Good evening, family, friends, and the class of 2021. My name is Victoria Felix, your student body president. Sitting behind me on the platform for tonight's ceremony are Flowing Wells Board of Education, Mr. James Love, Governing Board President. Ms. Christine Hammer, Governing Board Clerk. Mr. Kevin Daly, Governing Board Member. Mr. Tom Jacobs, Governing Board Member. Ms. Heretta Douglas, Former Board Member. Mr. Robert Etheridge, Alter Valley Governing Board. <laughs> District Administration, Dr. David Baker, Superintendent. <laughs> Dr. Kevin Solzfus, Associate Superintendent. <laughs> Dr. Kim Parkinson, Assistant Superintendent. Ms. Stacy Trueblood, Chief Financial Officer. <laughs> High School Administration, Mr. Jim Brunenkamp, Principal. <laughs> Ms. Rebecca Hurst, Assistant Principal. <laughs> Mr. Alberto Rangel, Assistant Principal. Mr. Frank Thomas, Assistant Principal. And sitting to your left are the Flowing Wells District Principals and Directors. Mr. Tony Young, Director of Maintenance. Mr. Luis Greer, Director of Transportation. Ms. Trisha Gutierrez, Director of Staff Development. Dr. Audrey Reef, Director of Federal Programs. <laughs> Ms. Jacqueline Camacho, Director of Exceptional Student Services. <laughs> Dr. Sue Shin, Director of the Preschool. <laughs> Ms. Christy Dale, Principal of Sentinel Elementary. Ms. Tabitha Fincham, Principal of Hendricks Elementary. <laughs> Mr. Daxton Baez, Principal of Homer Davis Elementary. <laughs> Mr. Alan Schmidt, Principal of Laguna Elementary. <laughs> Mr. Henry Linker, Principal of Richardson Elementary. Dr. Tamara McAllister, Principal of Walter Douglas Elementary. 
Mr. Chad Miller, principal of Flowing Wells Junior High. And last but not least, we have Mr. Christopher Nogami, principal of Sandal Peak High School. Thank you. Well, good evening, class of 2021. I heard you might be out of practice of yelling and screaming in large groups that you didn't have that opportunity this year. So, class of 2021. So as we send, we send you off, we wanna make sure you know how to yell and scream as a group. Um, as many of you know, we tend to connect experiences with moments in time. And I'm sure each one of you can connect a moment to the pandemic in this time that we've lived. For me, part of this most frustrating pandemic came on a late January. Uh, cases were surging across our city, across our country, and it was difficult to see how this would end. And I was at home alone one evening, and my wife and daughter weren't home, and I turned on a Netflix movie called My Octopus Teacher. And I actually didn't know what I was beginning to watch, but it was a documentary. And by, on a side note, if any of you had Mr. Birch, could you give me a shout out? Because I think his favorite creature is an octopus. Nobody had Mr. Birch in junior high? Thank you. Class of 2021. Class of 2021. So this documentary, My Octopus Teacher, was about a diver. Every single day, he dove into the ocean looking for this octopus. And as he swam with his octopus every day, his major revelation that came to him in this moment was that he was part of this place. He was part of the ocean. He was no longer a visitor. And as I think about this, we are all part of this place. We're no longer visitors. We are parts of place in everything we do. We are parts of a family. We're part of humanity. We are part of flowing wells. We are part of this planet, and we will forever be part of this pandemic. If we consider that we are parts of this great ecosystem, then we have a place here, then we have a part to play. We have a part to play in taking care of it, the planet, ourselves, and each other. And let's do the hard work to make this someplace that we want to be. As I watched the movie, a second thought came to me as I saw him go through the ocean every day for a year, and that was a greater message of time. Time always resides in the back of my mind and maybe even in the back of your minds, even if it's not conscious at the time. But time, even if you don't realize it, at any moment is limited. And we have to spend the time that we think about knowing that it is limited. Spending time with that octopus was a profound place for him of meaning. I challenge us all to find our profound place of meaning. So why do we mark graduations with such importance? Often because this graduation time represents some of the most purposeful work that you have done, that you have prepared yourself to leave, and it also represents the most purposeful work we have done as a school district in helping prepare you for life after high school. It's the purposeful work of your teachers, the custodians, the instructional aides, your principals, the entire system coming together to provide for you a school system that you can be proud of and you can be proud of your accomplishments. It's the purposeful work of your parents and grandparents and all the people that are here in the stadium and that are home watching you that are celebrating you and your accomplishment because you are their purpose. That is why they're here for you. And so, as we remember, though, that time comes to an end. Graduations do mark that end, and you might not have always been realizing it, but it does come to an end, and you move forward. And so, what do we do with the time that we have? You join clubs, you meet friends, you prepare for graduation, you play athletics, you set goals. Because that's what we do when we know we have a finite amount of time. And I think when we come to the conclusion of knowing that time is finite, we know one thing, that time is precious. 
And we want to use that time to do what we think is valuable and meaningful. And so my takeaway from the movie was that all things will come to an end, and so the time that we spend is precious. Make it meaningful. Make it meaningful when you leave here. Set goals. Keep your friends close. Encourage and celebrate the success of others. But please leave this field with the confidence and the determination that you have succeeded in the most challenging of time. And you can succeed at whatever you do. Time is precious. Act with purpose. Congratulations to you, the class of 2021. On each of your diplomas, you're going to see some signatures. There's going to be five school board members, and there's going to be your principal and your superintendent. We all take the time to sit down at a table, and we personally sign each and every one of you, uh, each and every one of your diplomas. So from your school board to you, congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2021. Now let's get serious for a moment. Estevan, this is for you. You started your lives sometime shortly after 9-11, when the United States was attacked by a foreign enemy. During that time, you had to learn to do active shooter drills. And now the United States and the world is under attack by a virus, which we've all been going through, and it's claimed over 564,000 American lives. Some of us had to survive it, and some of us have lost loved ones. We've had to learn how not to see our friends' faces and smiles we had to learn not to see the quivering lips of sadness. You all were not in the classroom with your teachers most of the time who desperately wanted to see you and teach you. They wanted to see your faces and see when you were in trouble. Your senior year was a class unity, was not as you had always imagined it would be. Instead, you were reminded of the responsibilities, not only to yourself, but to the people that we all love, to our neighbors and to our communities by wearing your mask and staying separated as you are tonight. You heard people talk about their rights and leaving out the responsibilities that go with those rights, which is do no harm to others. I have often spoke to some of you about the four years of high school being some of the most memorable years of your life. And these are times that you will never forget. The social experiences that you will experience or have experienced will stay with you for the rest of your life. The memories will be with you and each and every one of you today because you have learned the diversity and the challenges and become better person for it. Class of 2021, are you asleep? When you hear that, you better yell or I'm gonna just keep talking, you know? <laughs> I challenge you to go out into the world and find your passion. Set some goals that are high and that are very hard to achieve. Not because these goals are going to be hard for you, but because it will make them worthwhile when you achieve them. As you achieve these goals, it will give you something to be proud of. It will give you something to build your confidence in your self-esteem and your abilities. Don't ever doubt yourself. Know that you can never be defeated no matter what the challenges are. 
There's only one person that can tell you no, that you can't do something. And who is that? That's you. You have proven resilience already by going through what you've been through. The rest is up to you. Class of 2021. We do believe in you at Flowing Wells. This is your family. Class of 2021. I have a last question for you that you can answer yourself. Are you going to be what other people say you're going to be? Or are you going to want to be the person that you want to be? Hello, my name is Maria Yanez and I'm your senior class president. I'd like to thank everyone for being here today. I'd like to start off the night by saying that everyone says that the class of 2021 is so special, but do they really mean it? Because when I say it, I genuinely do mean it. I'm so proud to be such part, a part of such an optimistic class. Our class is filled with futures brighter than our computer screens. Screens that need a bit of the break themselves this summer, am I right? <laughs> Some amazing achievements I would like to share with you all from my fellow classmates are the following. Girls varsity basketball made it to the state championship game for the first time since 2008. <laughs> Seniors earned more than $5 million in scholarships. Our choir sang beautifully at the baccalaureate. Cheer also placed first in the West Coast Nationals and third in the U.S. Nationals, which is a great accomplishment. <laughs> Seniors were not able to complete much of what they wanted to this year, but they made the best of it under the circumstances. Many students were able to juggle a job, play sports, maintain their grades, attend JTED courses, and still participate in extracurricular activities, which is a lot on their plate. I see the class of 2021 as not only my classmates, but my homies I shared chicken snowball Wednesdays with in the cafeteria. Best day of the week, if you know what I mean. It pains me to say that this may be our last time seeing each other together. Due to all of us spread out across the country and even overseas, but one thing that we will always keep tied together is our amazing memories and experiences we shared in high school. Remember to cheer for one another as you walk up here on stage and receive your diploma. Enjoy this very moment. And with that being said, welcome to the graduating class of 2021. Hi guys, uh, to the parents and families, thank you for coming. Hope you're having a good evening. Uh, before I'd like to start, uh, I wanna mention that this is supposed to be a lighthearted speech. I didn't wanna make it as formal. And I tried to make it funny, so please laugh. If you don't, I will cry, either on stage or at home. Uh, so just remember throughout this that this isn't supposed to be super heavy and we should just have happy vibes all the way through, all right? Everybody got that, all right? Let's talk about coronavirus. Okay, everyone, it, we have to talk about the elephant in the room. The elephant that has stomped across America, across the world, leaving people sick or dead, sheltered in their homes with masks over their faces. 2020, and now 2021, will get its own section in history books, its own section on the Euro, Gov, APUSH, and World History AP tests in the next 20 years or so because of how much has happened. It's so weird to imagine that kids will learn about what we had to go through as a society and as a community 
completely disconnected from the real emotional weight of these events, just like how we saw the influenza outbreak, the world wars, and even 9-11. You know, I'll bet a lot of us felt like, and even think now, that this is it. We have spent a 17th or an 18th of our, of our lives seeing this kind of news on TV with this discourse on social media. For a long time for me, looking to the future was hard to do, just because it seemed like there was gonna be nothing left for us. And I think humans have been feeling this way during calamities and tribulations for a long time. This is the part you've already heard before, but people always push through. We've gone through pandemics, epidemics, two world wars in the same century, imagine that, some of the older people in the crowd might know, and imagine how much it took to go from then to where we are now. But none of you need to hear this. I can't sit anyone down, look them into their eyes, and tell them, you can get through this because we as a species always have, and think you gained something from me telling you that. Not only have you heard the same staff, sappy stuff on TV from corporations and companies, but you have already done something that proves you are more, you were and and more capable of pushing through. You walked past that gold post, gold post and sat in the chair you're sitting in now, waiting to be handed a diploma you spent four years of your life on. We've already made it. None of us care when someone says we can get through this because we already have. We've made it. We've succeeded. This is our victory and our celebration. This year was the worst, but you don't need to be told that, and you don't, you don't need to be told you can do it anymore. I believe wholeheartedly that each one of us can walk out of here tonight and find our own happiness to make up for the happiness we lost this year. Whether you start working, go to college, join the military, take a gap year or anything else. I wanna end this point off with a couple of optimistic numbers. In September of 2020, it was estimated that if 85% of people in America wore their masks, that's about six out of seven people, 95,814 deaths could have been prevented by March 2021. Almost 100 lives could have been saved. Now we can't actually go back and see if those stats are so accurate, but just remember, Whenever you felt bad because you had to stay inside, all the Zooms we had to tolerate, all the nights we couldn't hang out with each other, every time you had to put on the damn mask, you did that to save lives. Your efforts were not in vain. It could have been a grandparent, a parent, a teacher, a brother, a sister, a child. You helped save people. You, and this goes out to the parents and other families too. Goodness gracious. This goes out to you and the other family too. You sacrificed your happiness to save the lives of others. And that is admirable, and that is heroic, and don't let anyone tell you you wasted your time inside. On behalf, oh. <laughs> on behalf of everyone or anyone that would have possibly died or developed asthma or lost a limb or lung to this nasty thing, thank you, genuinely thank you. Now I wanna make this Now I want to make this part a little more intimate. Because uh, I'm going to get pretty serious here, pretty personal. Uh, I have a confession to make. I am a victim. Uh, during these four years, I became a victim of peer pressure. Uh, I was it was, either, it was either in late November, December, two years ago. Uh, I was pressured to do something I was on the fence on, something a little different, a little dangerous. Um, yeah, while I was on the fence, uh, all the people around me, they, they gave me all the red flags you learned in elementary school, you know. Come on, just this once. Try it, it'll be fun. Just chill out for a second in your life, you know. You know the ones. And what they got me into was worse than any drug or substance, worse than alcohol or the devil's lettuce. You know what that was? Musical theater. <laughs> Yeah, two years ago, I was pressured by my friends to audition for Newsies, and after that, after that, the next four months of my life were consumed by acting and dancing and singing and all those theatrics. And I had like no, I had no experience doing any of that kind of stuff, but I followed through anyway. And then next thing I knew, I was auditioning uh, for Advance the next year. So, what's what's the point of this bit? It's got, there's like a lesson here somewhere. Okay, I want to tell you guys, 
to try new things. Honestly, being mentally abused into auditioning for Newsies was one of the best things to happen to me. Please go out and try new things and go do things out of your comfort zone to enrich yourself as a person. Because this year, it was inevitable to feel stuck in one place, you know? And there won't be people in your lives anymore to pull you out of that hole. It sounds cliche, but we have to grow as people after a certain amount of time. I've known a lot of you since freshman year, and I've gotten to know even more of you since then, and I've seen how much you've changed and grown. We've grown as students and as people during our time here, and I hope all of us have plans to keep growing. Just try some new things and have some fun in life. But we also have to be genuine when, genuine when trying new things. This is the caveat of growth. Our personal growth should not be based on the desires of others. We have to keep our morals and values throughout the time where we try and grow into the people we want to be. You know, with social media and celebrities, we conflate self-worth with things that just aren't important in the big picture, in our future lives. Because listen, sincerity and gratitude are some of the most important values in life. Do things because you know they are right, and be grateful for the people around you who have supported you, whether it be friends, family, teachers, mentors, or whoever. One of, one of my favorite movies is Forrest Gump. It's nice, to see hard, it's nice to see someone genuinely succeed in life and be happy after working hard because they worked on their own accord. Even when it seemed that life wasn't going his way, he kept running and he tried so many new things. He played football, joined the army, was a fisherman, a ping pong player, thanks for that one yesterday, guys, an Apple investor, and joined a hippie cult or something. His resume was pretty sick. We need to keep growth we, we need to grow with our moral compass in mind and keep running throughout whatever life throws at us. And I know we can do it because we got through this year. But we are set up with a daunting task. You may or may not know this, but we are a majority minority school. Our Hispanic and Latinx population makes up 70% of Flowing Wells High School. Yeah. When we leave for college or the military or trade school or go straight into our careers, our minority status will stick out more. Just to be clear, I'm not Mexican. I'm actually Asian, specifically Malaysian. Um, some of you may know this already, but I'm also a Muslim. Let's try out uh, a bit of a risque exercise. It's gonna be a little cheesy uh, or uncomfortable, but bear with it and humor me a bit. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna take a little walk throughout history, and I'm gonna say a series of words. I want you to think, don't say please, of the first word that comes to your mind, no matter how offensive, how politically incorrect, or funny maybe, what is your raw thought that you associate with each of these words? Everybody ready? Yeah. Like All right, listen, and then just think, just think of the first word that comes to mind. Protestant, indigenous, Spanish, Italian, German, Slavic, Jewish, Japanese, Korean, Vietnamese, Indian, Afghani, Muslim, Black. All right, that's the end of the exercise. Thank you, everyone, for, 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 for participating. Uh, that exercise might have shown that we have pre-existing judgments based on a very limited amount of experience and exposure. It's human nature that we judge entire groups of people based on our soul experiences. But we need to keep this in mind because as we travel across the country, and as some of us go across the world, Oscar Beltran, and some of us find our new lives, we will meet people who have never met a Hispanic or a native or black, or Asian, or white person. We become the poster children of our race, of our ethnicity, gender, place of birth, country, state, city, so many things against our will. We become the face of things we didn't get to choose. But it's so important to break people's pre-existing prejudices, prejudices and stigmas and our own prejudices and stigmas so that our world can become more tolerant and more understanding as we've seen from recent events that the world needs to build some tolerance, by the way, Black Lives Matter, Stop Asian Hate, all of the above. And hey, thinking on a small scale, from now on, we represent Flowing Wells High School, since that's the name of the school that's gonna be on our diploma that we work so hard on. Listen, wherever we go, the people in our lives will look at our names 
or a picture of our face and assume something of us. It is up to us to change people's mindsets through good action and example. No matter where we go, how we look or act or who we meet, we have to be mindful that there will always be eyes on us. What a buzzkill of a speech, huh? <laughs> All right. I want to end this one a little lighthearted. Everybody, or people are getting their vaccines now, right? Yeah? Are you excited to like get back to normal life? Yeah, it's so, it's so close. I'm waiting for my superpowers, honestly. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Guys, the, the light's at the end of the tunnel. We're, it's right there. It's right there. We just got to wait a couple more months. Um, so let's just, let's just power through it. Thank you to all the teachers and staff that made this possible. And congratulations to the Flowing Wells graduating class 2021. Thank you. Good evening, class of 2021. May I begin by saying, I am flawed. I make mistakes. I have a lot of bad days. These aren't phrases you would expect to hear in the salutatorian's commencement speech. I'm off to a great start. But it's true. I'm a flawed person. Many have viewed me as a good student throughout my high school career. But did that mean I was a good person? At the end of my eighth grade year of middle school, I lost someone extremely close to me, my Nana, Kayleen Wood. She passed away in December of 2016 to stage four pancreatic cancer. She lived within walking distance of Flowing Wells Junior High School and is largely the reason I attended school in Flowing Wells. To everyone here tonight, I want you to think of one person who's inspired you the most in life. And on the count of three, I want you to yell their name as loud as possible. I want it to be so loud that the people on Flowing Wells Road can hear us. Are you ready? One, two, three. Whoever's name you yelled, whoever's inspired you, to be the person you are today. That is what Kayleen Wood, my Nana, was to me. I will forever be grateful for how she pushed me to try new things, meet new people, and for pushing me to join band. Though at the time, I did not honor the legacy of my Nana in the right way. Entering my freshman year of high school, I was still incredibly dismissive towards the death of my Nana. And I wasn't addressing the emotions I was encountering. I was smothering a tragedy. I hid under the facade of being a good student. But in actuality, I was ignoring the worst moment in my life. And it affected my friends, my family, and my personality. I covered my pain with perfection. I got straight A's all of my freshman year in high school but I was miserable. The wake-up call came halfway through my freshman year. I had stellar grades, but I was also at the most isolated point in my life. Something needed to change. It came my sophomore year when I finally let go of micromanaging my grades. I wasn't reckless, but I didn't study for every test. I procrastinated, but I was reaching a greater level of happiness. I was becoming closer with my friends and my family. And I was finally addressing the emotions that I had bottled up from my Nana passing away. The common misconception we have when someone like me stands up here on a stage giving a speech is that we are somehow free from flaws, free from pain, free from being human. But that couldn't be any more wrong. I want you all to know good grades come at a price. Perfection is an illusion, but being a great person, being a real person, is your most important goal in life. Despite my imperfections, I haven't walked my journey alone, and there are a few people I must thank for being with me throughout it all. 
to Mr. Mann, my freshman honors world history teacher. You were my wake-up call my freshman year. You taught me not only what it means to have academic rigor, but also how to show compassion and how to have understanding for one another. You are a father figure on campus, and I will forever be grateful to you. <laughs> to my band family, you've been the support group I needed throughout high school. The countless hours of sweat and tears that were shed making music gave me something to look forward to daily and work towards. The people in band pushed me to be a better version of myself and to let my soul shine. To my family, I am blessed to have people who are able to deal with my crazy, the insane schedules, the stressed version of me, the angry version of me. My dad, my mom, my two sisters, Jordan and Ella, have all dealt with me and my crazy antics. After thanking all these great people, though, I think many of the men I out there have something to admit. We are mama's boys. Our moms are able to talk us off the ledge when we are stressed. Our mothers give us the strength to be a better version of ourselves, and they didn't give up on us when we weren't. Our mothers out there are very selfless and are willing to sacrifice everything for our families. Why don't we take a moment and thank all of the mothers in the crowd today. If you are a mother, I want you to stand up right where you're sitting Since we are in the mood of thanking our mothers, I must take a moment to thank mine. It happens to be my mother's 52nd birthday today. And over the past year, my friends and I have had the tradition of playing each other's favorite songs on their birthdays. And I think it would only be right for some members of the jazz band and I to play her favorite song. That was You'll Be In My Heart by Phil Collins, a song featured in the movie Tarzan. I want my mom and the rest of my family to know you will always be in my heart, always and forever. I want to thank all of my close friends who worked tirelessly to help me pull this off. I also want to thank Mr. Jones and Ms. Austin for their mentorship in making this special moment happen. The last person I must thank for the role she has played in my life is Mrs. Kirkbride, my band director. Mrs. Kirkbride has seen me at my best, but she has also seen me at my absolute worst. She's dealt with me for all four years of high school, <laughs> and I'm grateful for every moment I've had with her. We need more people in the world like Mrs. Kirkbride. I said at the start of this speech that I'm a flawed person, but Mrs. Kirkbride was able to see through the flawed person I was and bring out a greater version of me. And I will forever be grateful for her for finding that in me. To be fair, she had the greatest weapon of all time in her arsenal, 
music. Teachers continue to change the lives of their students by using what they do best to help us find our purpose in life. Thank you, Mrs. Kirkbride, for being my inspiration in my darkest moment and for making someone broken become whole again. I will close with this. Think about your Mrs. Kirkbride in life. Think about the person who can see past all of the brokenness. You are here today because that person saw past the pain and saw greatness. The most successful people in life aren't the ones who get the best grades. The most successful people aren't those who are perfect. The most successful people in life are the ones who are motivated by the people around them. Class of 2021, hold on to dear life, the people around you who can see past your worst moment because they are the ones who will celebrate you at your best. Heck, we're here right now. Because in our darkest moments, we are all flawed, but the people around us in life empower us to become extraordinary. To the class of 2021, thank you and good night. Twenty twenty one. That that was cool. Uh oh. Good evening. Yeah, I want to. I want to point out something that Mr. Uh, Love said. He said we sign every single diploma by hand, and I will tell you, the people who make our diplomas told us that we're the only ones in the country who do that. And I will tell you, and I say this every year, we're the only school in Tucson that has every single principal here. And do you know why that is? It's because you deserve it. You do not deserve a generic printed diploma. You work too hard. And we do that because we know you deserve it. We love you, we care about you. And let me tell you how special you are. I mentioned in the gym before I came out here that you're gonna be impressed with my speech. <laughs> not because I wrote it, um, but because of what's in it. So get this, first time ever in the history of Flowing Wells, more of you earned a gold diploma then earned a blue diploma. One hundred and fifty-two of you, or fifty-one percent, earned an advanced studies gold diploma. The first time a majority of the graduates at Flowing Wells High School earned a gold diploma. One hundred and twenty-six, or forty-four percent of you, are a state of Arizona academic scholar, graduating seniors of the class of 2021. There are 295 of you. Maria, I loved your speech, but there was one thing wrong with it, and here it is. You have earned $6,511,729 in scholarship offers so far, and that amount keeps climbing. Many of you are off to serve your country in the Marines, the Army, the Air Force, the Army Reserve, the Navy, and the National Guard. And over 233 of you, or 79% of the class of 2021, plan to pursue post-secondary training attending trade schools, technical schools, colleges, universities from coast to coast, including the American Musical and Dramatic Academy New York campus, the American Musical and Dramatic Academy Los Angeles campus, 
Arizona State University, Avita Institute, Carrington College, Coast Chase College, Grand Canyon College, Hogan College of Real Estate, Naval Prep Academy, Northern Arizona University, Ottawa University, Pima Community College, Pima Medical Institute, Smith College, Stanford University, Sweetbriar College, Texas A&M, Tucson College of Beauty, and yes, more than one of you are planning on going to the University of Arizona. We are the proud of your accomplishments, and I want to point out the, those of you who are in the top 20 of your class, when you hear your name, please stand. Number 20, Yasmin Fernandez. Number 19, Jenna Moss. Number 18, Jose Oropesa. Number 17, Leslie Leva. Number 16, Trinity Thomas. Number 15, Elise Miller. Number 14, Christian Wilton. Number 13, Taylor Newton. Number 12, Olivia Graves. Number 11, Angel Soto. Number 10, Myla Sachko. Number eight, there's a tie, Caitlin Rendon. Number eight, Brooklyn Bugby. Number seven, Stephanie Longoria. Number six, Azara Valenzuela Ariola. Number five, Ethan Wilton. Number four, Caitlin Johnson. Number three, Kyle Reap. Your salutatorian for the class of 2021, Drew Long. And your valedictorian, Ali Mode. I told you at graduation practice, every department picks their one senior of the year, only one that each department picks. And sometimes it, you know, they, it, it's down to a arm wrestle to see who gets it. So if you are a senior of the year, please walk up on stage so you can be recognized and get your plaque. The senior of the year for the career and technical education department, Martha Gonzalez Robles. The senior, Eng the senior of the Year for the English Department, Olivia Graves. <laughs> senior of the Year for the Fine Arts Department, Emily Hinton. <laughs> senior of the Year for the Resource Department, Marvin Rivera Hernandez. <laughs> senior of the Year for JROTC, Sydney Forgosh. <laughs> Jero excuse me, Senior of the Year for Math, Maddox, Catherine Bainari Mendoza. <laughs> Senior of the Year for Modern Language, Elizabeth Lopez Quintana. <laughs> Senior of the Year for Physical Education, Cheyenne Sandoval. <laughs> Senior of the Year for Science, Esteban Aragon. <laughs> Senior of the Year for Social Studies, Bianca Gonzalez. <laughs> Your valedictorian, please come up to the stage, Ali Mode. Your salutatorian, Drew Long. And I told you guys I'm a hypocrite. I only let departments pick one senior, but I could only come up with three. I, I couldn't decide among the three. So the principal, seniors of the year, Melanie Serrano. Brooklyn Bugby. And Ethan Wilton. Continuing with your accomplishments, one of you is the Arizona Second Congressional Gold Medal winner. In FCCL, FCCLA fashion, one of you is an Arizona FCCLA state officer. One of you is a star event gold medal winner. One of you is an FCCLA national star event qualifier. In auto mechanics, eight of you completed 600 total hours of vocational automotive techno technology training. Eleven of you earned a total of 32 student ASE certifications, and 11 of you completed 91 Ford ACE training certifications. In fine arts, many of our theater, choir, and dance seniors were involved in the Herculean task of creating our fully virtual, virtual spring musical Spinning Tales as cast members, chorus singers, dancers, scenic artists, and carpenters. In band, one of you was selected for the all-regional band, and one of you was accepted to the Fred Fox School of Music at the University of Arizona. In choir, all of our choir seniors were instrumental in the musical and technical production of nearly a dozen virtual choir performances this year. Eight seniors auditioned and success successfully made it into the regional choir. 
in FCCL Culinary Arts. Six of you were gra are graduating with safe, Serve Safe Manager Certification, and one of you is a gold medal winner and state champion FCCLA Cake Decorating. In Ed Professions, two of you will be complete competing this summer in Ed Rising's national competition for the children's book that you wrote. In Graphic Design, first one of you is first and second place two of you, first and second place at Skills USA Regionals. One of you is a champion in Skill USA screen printing category. One of you won first place for screen printing and graphic design. And one of you placed second in the Skills USA Regional poster design. In JROTC, four cadets enlisted in the military. One of you placed first in the civilian marksmanship competition. One cadet was accepted into the Naval Academy Preparatory School. The rifle team won the state championship, and you competed, completed over 100 hours of community service. ILS hand-painted and delivered 600 inspirational rocks to the Fountain's retirement home and coordinated 100 meals for families. In photo, one of you has a photo showing at the University of Arizona Museum of Art, and one of you will be an intern on a music movie set this summer. And 92 of the seniors who took the technical skills assessment passed, 92%. And in athletics, even though you had abbreviated seasons, you still achieved and accomplished. In cheerleading, our team with seven seniors placed third at USA Nationals, and one of you placed third in the USA Nationals cheer competition. In track, one of you was a state qualifier in long jump and triple jump. The Lady Cabs overall record, 15 and four, 5A Sonoran region with 7-0 record, for first place in the region, back-to-back -back region champions, and the 5A state runners-up. Girls volleyball, one of you made second team all region. And boys basketball, one of you made second team all region. And girls basketball, one of you made first team all region and region defensive player of the year. Girls basketball, second team all region. One of you in boys soccer earned second team all region. One of you was selected for the Southern Arizona All-Star Team for football. One of you was, uh, won second place in wrestling sectionals. And three of you were super cabs getting varsity letters in three different sports, three different seasons. What a year you all had. Give your sounds a round of applause. So now I have to apologize. My voice is gone. I'm going to have to go now. Boy, that, that joke kind of <laughs> dropped like a lead balloon. <laughs> Are you ready to graduate? <laughs> Members of the school board, district administration, parents and friends, I am pleased at this time to present Flowing Walls High School's graduates of 2021 and to certify that they have completed requirements for graduation as established by the Arizona School Bo State Board of Education and by the Flowing Wells Board of Education. Mrs. Christine Hammer, clerk of the board, and Mr. Thomas Jacobs, member of the board, will present diplomas to the graduates. Will the graduates in row one please rise and approach the stage. Mr. Love, can I have you come up to the podium? I need your help. <laughs> the first person graduating tonight first graduated from Kellond Elementary School, then graduated from Fickett Junior High, moved on and got his diploma from Palo Verde High School. I will not tell you the year. He then went to the University of Arizona, earned his bachelor's degree, his master's degree, and his doctorate, and he is getting his diploma finally from Flowing Wells High School. David Roy Baker. Richard Long, excuse me, Richard Young. Okay. Okay. 
David Nguyen. Excuse me, David Johnny Nguyen. David Nguyen teaches English. You got it, Johnny. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Jonathan Ray Borquez Jr., gold diploma. Uh oh, here we go. <laughs> Carlos Mauricio Ramirez, gold diploma, Arizona scholar. Christopher Acuna. Chupapi Muñano. Look at look at Griff's. Look at this. Why you gotta do me like that? I'm gonna do you like that. Griffin Smith, gold diploma. Why you gotta do me like that? Elizabeth Catherine Enriquez. Elizabeth Siqueiros, gold diploma. <laughs> Ivan Ricardo Pina, gold diploma. Oh, oh, no, you're good. Chase Peter Christensen, gold diploma, Arizona scholar. Caden Anthony Gallion. Arizona Scholar. Drew Long, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar, graduating with distinction, salutatorian. Ryan Christopher Daniels. I want to remind uh, the seniors you're welcome to go grab your uh, cap and tassel with your name on it. Megan Henley, gold diploma, Arizona Scholar. Allison Lugo Estrada, gold diploma, Arizona Scholar. Martha Gonzalez, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Mariana Rendon. Like your hat. Carla Valdez. Janice Carrero. Elizabeth Lopez Quintana, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar, Distinguished Senior. Kate Mejia, Gold Diploma. Emily Berry, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Talon Fish, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Sean Paca, Arizona Scholar. You're welcome. Nick Mercard Mercado, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Julian Espinosa Trujillo, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Roy Ortiz, Jr. Isaiah Isaac, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Brendan Thibodeau.
Marvin Rivera. Annette Marie Henderson. Great hat. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Brianna Martinez Solis. Caitlin Garber. Duncan. <laughs> He told me I could do this. <laughs> Duncan Hines Weiss. <laughs> Olivia Jubilee Graves, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. You're welcome. Renee Avidia, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Stephanie Longoria, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar, graduating with distinction. <laughs> Yalisa Bischoff, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. <laughs> Itiana Vasquez Palayo, Gold Diploma. Manuel Angel Carrion Hernandez. Adrian Nicole Sandoval. Elisa Nicole Varela. Elizabeth Lynn Johnson, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Janae Guthrie, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Nicole Jolice Bradshaw, Gold Diploma. Jasmine Nicole Evans, Arizona Scholar. Jaden Sile Castel de Oro. Peter Siqueiros, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Andrew Alexander Carranza, Jr., Gold Diploma. Esteban Aragon, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Johnny Thompson. Suspense. How does that sound? Giovanni Apollo Fernando Walls, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Adolfo A.J. Welch Flores. No, I'll shake your hand. Marcella Elena Espinosa, Arizona Scholar. Sabrina Jo Bates, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Alexis Lynn Wilson. Caitlin Johnson, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Graduating with distinction, distinguished senior. 
Wait, is this one? It's just one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Emily K. Hinton, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Taylor Squirrel Newton, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Paloma Rochelle Arvizu Ramirez, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. <laughs> Distinguished Senior. <laughs> Sarayi Favela, Arizona Scholar. Wyatt Lee Hankinson, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Andrea Shavira Felix. Megan Lacey Hoagie. Aid Carbouche. <laughs> Alexis Jovan Leon Garcia. <laughs> Heidi Abigail Echeverria Ramos. Karen Varela Ruiz. Michael Esteban Ortega. Dana Lynette Ponce de Leon, Gold Diploma. Eric Pace. Leslie Giselle Salazar, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Abriana Luna, Gold Diploma. I can breathe. Bianca Peralta, Gold Diploma. Twenty twenty one. I know it's getting later, isn't it? <laughs> Anisa Maria Gonzalez, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. You're welcome. Genesis Elsa Cruz, Gold Diploma. <laughs> Carlos David Ruiz, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. <laughs> Carriza Jas Jasmine Dominguez, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. See the cat. Oh, I wanted to see the hat. Oh, here you go. Narcy Esmeralda de la Rosa Avila, Gold Diploma, Distinguished Senior. Amaris Angel Soto. Madeline Serrano, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar.
Denitza Itzel. Araujo Morbon. There you go. Gold diploma. Chase Jean Sauber, gold diploma, Arizona Scholar. I'm sorry. <laughs> Brooklyn Marie, Brooklyn Marie Bugby, gold diploma, graduating with distinction. Just get back there. Brooklyn Marie Bugby, gold diploma, graduating with distinction, distinguished senior, Arizona Scholar. Alia Apodaca, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. <laughs> Jenna Lorene Hevner, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. <laughs> Casey Joe Wallace, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Lula Naomi Bridges, Gold Diploma. <laughs> Josue Cruz Miranda, Gold Diploma. You're not going to, okay. <laughs> Levi Cruz, Gold Diploma. Angel Soleil Soto, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar, Distinguished Senior. Melody Stoller, Gold Diploma. Catherine Benori Mendoza, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Gabriel Armando Figueroa Dennis. You, go. hey, you got a haircut. Wait, wait, wait. The world, the world is yours, baby. <laughs> Braden Reich. <laughs> Alana Diaz. Sarah Iraji, Sarah Iraji, Sarah Iraji, go back. Boy, I really mangled that name, yeah. Sara Iraji, wait, gold diploma, Arizona Scholar. Ashley Jasmine Lopez Aviles, Gold Diploma. Adamari Narida Narida Alvarez. Rebecca Cordova. Sonia Lopez, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. <laughs> Nikki Crest, Gold Diploma. <laughs> Jacob Solano. <laughs> Zane Heushman, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Myla Veronica Sachko, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar, graduating with distinction. Joseph Salvador Campos Penuelas,
Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. <laughs> I don't know. Tomohiro Christian Wilton, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Sandra McGee, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Julie Davis, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Cody Delaney Marsteller, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Carlos Chacon. Yasmin Fernandez, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Anicia Bracamonte. Kenya Corrales, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Carla Sanchez. Natalyn Gonzalez Coronado, Arizona Scholar. Ricardo Josedek Sanchez. Jonathan Tovar Garcia. Jasmine Law. Mel Waters. <laughs> Judith Alejandra Robles. <laughs> Jesse Ramirez. <laughs> Ruby C. Kylie D. Hensley. Jose Ramon Ibarra. And Hel Elston Perez, Arizona Scholar. Leilani Ornilas. <laughs> Elena Indrani Vargas. <laughs> Leslie Barrera Gutierrez, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Alexandra Diaz de la Cruz, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Tanya Edith Bustamante. No, because then everybody else. Bianca Paulina Gonzalez. Ali Morales. <laughs> Vanessa Cisneros Ramos, Gold Diploma. Arizona Scholar.
Nisa Paredes, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. <laughs> that was cute. Amelia Villa, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Danielle Natalie Globus, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Corey Ryan McAtee, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Yeah. Michael Terrazas. Love you, Mom! Alyssa Gabrielle Fimbres, Arizona Scholar. Alejandro Adrian Carasosa, enamorado. <laughs> Anthony Sid Ramon, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. <laughs> Amaris Lopez. Alyssa Lorene Garcia Rodella. Yeah, <laughs> Renzo Alexander Delgadio. What'd you say? Oh, okay. Katie Ferguson. Juliana Yalitza Hernandez, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. <laughs> Alyssa Doucet, Arizona Scholar. <laughs> Asusenya Tatiana Ramirez. Ethan Wilton, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar, graduating with distinction. Juan Eduardo Cardenas Moreno, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Tony Lamb, Gold Diploma. Alessa Medrano Caballos, Ceballos. Aspen Caris Ohm. Samantha Renee Elizabeth Milush. Leslie Leva, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Azara Sweelin, Valenzuela, Ariola, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar, graduating with distinction. Oscar Yahir Lopez, Gold Diploma. I forgive you, though. That was scary. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Melanie Abote, Aboite Carbajal, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Zulema Palayo Fierros, Gold Diploma. <laughs> K 
Carmen Castro Gastelum, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Amy Limas, Gold Diploma. Siana Sandate, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Kyle Reap, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar, graduating with distinction. Deanna Escamilla Cota, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Nazarene Zavala. Damon Ramirez Verdugo. Jesus Maldonado, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Alejandro Zambrano. Edwin Espinosa, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Trinity Thomas, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Nora Elizabeth McCarthy, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Elise Miller, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Gabriela Marie Dia, Maria Diaz, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar, Distinguished Senior. Cyan Arlette Sandoval, Gold Diploma. Ariana Marie Mack, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Thank you. Alexis Chavez. Angelo Joseph Santanello. Zach Reed. Michael Aiden Richard Obregon the fourth. Gold diploma. Jose Andres Valdez. You're welcome. Imena Alejandra Coronado, Gold Diploma. I've practiced this like 20 times. Okay. <laughs> Melinda Gabriela Arguez, Gold Diploma. <laughs> Cheyenne Amari Yanez, Gold Diploma. Where are you going? Did you ever come back? Get back on the ex. Let me finish. You deserve it. She deserves what she earned. Cheyenne Mari Yanez, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Now you can go. <laughs> Maria Sanaida Yanez, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Hey. 
Jose Arturo Olivas, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Daritza Encinas, Arizona Scholar. I tried. <laughs> Daniela Harrison. Marianne, so, excuse me, Marianne Salceda Fonseca, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Melanie Islas Valdez, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Uh, okay, here we go. Kyle Fistandantilas Mayette, I'm going to do that again. Kyle Fistandantilas Mayette Ashworth. I screwed up, didn't I? <laughs> Uh, Solitaire Alicia Soper. Yeah. Jaime Comenero. Yeah. Estrella Vanessa Johnson Santizo, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. <laughs> Jessica Francisca Acosta. <laughs> Elise Valencia, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. McKenna Elise Johnson, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. <laughs> Celestine Marina Rodriguez. <laughs> Madison Grace Almada. Sydney Taylor Kilpatrick, Gold <laughs> Diploma. Liliana Andrea Torres. <laughs> Carolina Barbosa Hayer. <laughs> Benjamin Bear McDonald, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Hunter Bidigan, Gold Diploma. <laughs> Ali Mode, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar, graduating with distinction, valedictorian. Victoria Felix, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar, Student Body President. Maria Rios Moreno. <laughs> Juliana Pineda Hernandez, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. <laughs> okay, <laughs> dang it. Alvaro, Alvaro Andres Fergoso. Joaquin Andres Fragoso. Estrella Ion. Yasmin Rios, Gold Diploma. Um.
Humberto Fontes Sarmiento, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Sarmiento. Jose Angel Valencia Esquer, Gold Diploma. Kimberly's, Kimberly Sarai Sanchez Armenteros. Carlos Eduardo Lucas Kosterlitsky. Alexandra Michelle Carrasco, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar, Distinguished Senior. Samantha Valenzuela Guerra, Gold Diploma. Diana Coronado, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Jasmine Lisbeth Sedeno, Gold Diploma, Arizona <coughs> Scholar. Kenneth Harvey, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Ryan Angel Moreno. Atman Valdez. Darren Zo, Gold Diploma. Rebecca Rose Thomas. James Hagenberger. Yeah, thank you. Jesus Lorea, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Anthony Aramillo. Jose Oropesa, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Orion Bittner, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Sophia Elsie Miller Orvis, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. <laughs> Alexander Ochotorena Jr., Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Arath Rodriguez. Jonathan Salvador Campos Benuelas, Gold Diploma. Bo Carter, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. James Carter. On the X. Alex Tapia. Okay. Gabriel Cruz. Cali Bosejour. Jennifer Elena Howard, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar.
Jacob Obed Hildago. Alejandro Gomez Gonzalez, Arizona Scholar. Thank you. Axlan Sotelo. Zoe Otero. Ichel Ben Alonso. Madeline Walsh. Jessica Fike Falzania, Fal Saldania, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Caitlin Itzet Rendon, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar, graduating with distinction, distinguished senior. Sydney Forgosh, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Caitlin's already got homework. Audrey Whitehead, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Stephanie Guerrero, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Ramon De La Cruz Nido. Pablo Rivas. Edgar Ortega Gutierrez. Efrain Campos. Avo Alvaro Lara. Everardo Campos. Everardo Campos. Mercedes Littler. Jocelyn Zaragoza Alvarez. Rafael Tapia Urrera. Valentina Guzman, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Galilea Montijo Fuentes, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Hannah Nicole Atwater, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Delilah Marie Miguel Sixkiller, Gold Diploma. Nice tie. Thank you. You're welcome. Alejandro Flores Montano, Arizona Scholar. Israel Ixcat, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Thank you. Fee Nim, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. You. You're welcome. Yasmin M. Molina Montano, Gold Diploma, Air Gold Diploma. <laughs> 
Caitlin Bailey, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Jenna Moss, Gold Diploma, Arizona Scholar. Aaron Fernando Santillanes Usher. Gold Diploma. Now you can go. <laughs> Joseph Russell Wright. What's <laughs> no. Uh, Will Smith the third. Christ Sammy Lewis. May I get a high five? Brian Mauricio Ramos, gold diploma. <laughs> Natalie Seha. I've told you guys all year long that your teachers sometimes put their Flowing Wells family ahead of their own family because they care about you, they want you to get a good education, they plan lessons, they grade papers, they have to put those grades into the grading program. Um, they meet with you after school, they meet with you before school, they meet with you at lunch, they meet with you on weekends sometimes. They're here for study tables before school and after school. So teachers, please stand and be recognized by the class of 2021 and counselors as well. Hello everyone. My name is Paloma Rachel. What is sacrifice? Think about the people who have sacrificed for you. Who are those people? This is my story about two people who sacrificed themselves for me. The two people greatly responsible for me being here speaking to you tonight. ¿Qué es el sacrificio? Piensa en las personas que se han sacrificado por ti. ¿Quiénes son esas personas? Esta es mi historia acerca de dos personas que se sacrificaron por mí. Las dos personas responsables de que esté aquí hablando esta noche. My mother was born and raised in Mexico. She was happy in Mexico. As a young woman, my mother found out she was pregnant. She was going to have a baby girl. Me. My mother wanted me to have the best life, and she decided that I had a better chance of success living in the United States. So my mother and my grandmother left their family, their friends, their home, so I could have a better life. Mi madre nació y fue criada en México. Ella era feliz ahí. De joven, se enteró que estaba embarazada y que tendría una pequeña bebé, a mí. Ella quería que yo tuviera la mejor calidad de vida y pensó que tendría la oportunidad de una vida exitosa en los Estados Unidos. Así que mi madre y mi abuela dejaron a su familia, a sus amigos y a su hogar para que yo pudiera acceder a una vida mejor.
Arriving in Arizona, they had to learn and adapt to a new country with different customs, different food, and a different language. Although they lived in a new country, my mother and grandmother always held on to their beliefs and never forgot their roots. As a child, I was taught the Mexican culture. I ate the best Mexican food, listened to the best music, Mexican music, and learned and spoke the Spanish language. Because my mom sacrificed every day for me, working two full-time jobs and a part-time job, I always had everything I needed and wanted. Llegando a Arizona, ellas tuvieron que aprender y adaptarse a nuevo país con nuevas costumbres, diferente comida y otro idioma. A pesar de que ellas se encontraban en un país nuevo, para ellas, mi madre y mi abuela siempre fueron fieles a sus creencias y nunca olvidaron sus raíces. De niña, me enseñaron la cultura mexicana. Comí la mejor comida mexicana. Escuchaba la música tradicional y aprendí a hablar español. Debido a que mi mamá se sacrificó todos los días por mí, trabajando más de dos jornadas, siempre tuve lo que quise y todo lo que necesité. Some people think of a mother as the person who gives birth to you. But I googled mother. And the Google definition of a mother is a person who has the responsibility of physical and emotional care for a child. Because my mom worked all the time to support us, my grandmother took care of me. She cooked and cleaned for me, shopped for me, helped heal me when I was sick, and made sure I went to school every day. She also sacrificed for me. She was my second mother. Algunas personas piensan que las madres son las personas que te dan la vida. Pero lo busqué. La definición de la palabra en Google es, madre es la persona que tiene la responsabilidad física y el cuidado emocional de un niño o niña. Debido a que mi mamá trabajaba todo el tiempo para apoyarnos, mi abuela cuidó de mí. Ella cocinó, limpió, hizo las compras, me curó y cuidó cuando estaba enferma. Y además, se aseguró de que asistiera a la escuela todos los días. Ella también se sacrificó por mí. Fue mi segunda madre. When I think about my two moms, I realize that they were warriors, empowered, and strong women who knew how to make anything happen. Language was not an obstacle for my mother. She didn't speak English, yet she sat with me at night and helped me with my homework. Even when she was exhausted from working so much, because of my mother's sacrifices, I always had food to eat, clothes to wear. I traveled to California to visit colleges and met Mickey Mouse. And I went on an amazing trip to China and walked on top of the Great Wall. Cuando pienso en mis dos madres, me doy cuenta de que fueron guerreras, mujeres fuertes y empoderadas, que sabían cómo hacer que las cosas sucedieran. El lenguaje no fue un, un obstáculo para mi mamá. Ella no hablaba inglés. Y aún así, se sentaba conmigo en las noches para ayudarme a hacer mi tarea.
incluso cuando estaba exhausta de tanto trabajar. Gracias a los sacrificios de mi madre, siempre tuve alimentos para comer y ropa para vestir. Viajé a California a visitar colegios y a conocer a Mickey Mouse. Y fui a un viaje asombroso a China y caminé por la Gran Muralla. I sometimes hear from students that they and they alone are responsible for graduating from high school, that no one sacrificed for them. So I ask those students, did you pay the rent? Did you pay the electric bill? Did you buy your own food? I believe no one can go through life without the hope and sacrifices of other people. A veces, escucho a algunos estudiantes decir que ellos solos lograron graduarse de la preparatoria y que nadie se sacrificó por ellos. Así que les pregunto a esos compañeros, tú pagaste la renta, tú pagaste el recibo de la luz, tú compraste tu comida y creo que nadie puede ir por la vida sin la ayuda y los sacrificios de otras personas. My mother and grandmother told me and taught me that the way to a successful future starts with education. I am proud that I am the first person in my family to attend college. I will be a student at the University of Arizona. <laughs> Mi madre y mi abuela me dijeron y enseñaron que el camino hacia un futuro exitoso comienza con la educación. Estoy orgullosa de ser la primera en mi familia en asistir al colegio y seré una estudiante de la Universidad de Arizona. My grandmother looked forward <laughs> My grandmother looked forward to seeing me graduate. But two weeks ago, she became my guardian angel. And I know she is still watching me graduate tonight. Now we are adults. And it, and it is time we give back to those who sacrifice for us. It is our time to sacrifice to help others. Mi abuela quería verme graduar. Pero hace dos semanas se convirtió en mi ángel de la guardia. Pero sé, desde que donde ella esté, me está viendo y está feliz. Verme graduar esta noche. Ahora somos adultos. 
y es nuestro turno de regresar a aquellos que se sacrificaron por nosotros. Es nuestro momento de sacrificar para ayudar a los demás. So I end with this question. Así que termino con esta pregunta. Who are you going to sacrifice for? ¿Por quién te vas a sacrificar? Thank you. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Education, I hereby declare you graduates of Flowing Wells High School, offer you my sincere congratulations, and ask, ask that you change your tassels from right to left. Now I'm gonna give you a little history lesson. The winter pep assembly in the 2020 school year ended with you not winning the spirit yell. Unless I have my history wrong, I, think, I don't think you got it. And so now's your chance for redemption. In honor of missing our pep assemblies, we are going to ha be having one last spirit yell. Seniors, are you ready? Yeah. When I say F dub, you say you know F dub. You know. F dub. You know. F dub. You know. <laughs> Congratulations to the class of 2021. <laughs>
Let's celebrate.